Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson with some fast forecast facts. We have some showers of rain moving through the valley as we head into your evening hours. Stronger storms forming out to the west. Your forecast details are coming up right now. now a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. If you did not see my very lengthy description of the uh, severe weather threat tonight, the track of storms as a, a full depth look, take a look at my video on HutchesWeather.com. You might have to scroll back to the last update or two, but you will see my was live version of the video and you'll get the latest in the forecast. But here's what you need to know as we take a look at our storms tonight. Early uh, afternoon storms as we go through the three to five o'clock time frame are generally going to be non-severe. But as we go into the uh, late night hours, moving out of the Bismarck area and through the James River Valley, all modes of severe will be possible. Damaging wind and hail will be the top two threats with these storms. A isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out, mainly along the North Dakota, South Dakota border into Central South Dakota. Notice this storm making its way to the east as we go through, and this will be close to the 10 o'clock hour. So Fargo, a greater chance after 9 to 10 o'clock, maybe close to midnight by some of the models as we go through with this line pushing into lakes country as we go towards the midnight hour and beyond. Uh, the main threats as we go into O-Dark 30 in the late night hours after about 8 or 9 o'clock will be gusty straight line winds. And a couple of the cells could still have some sizable hail, particularly on the far southern branch of these storms down here on the I-29 corridor from Big Stone County and south into Watertown. And then these will continue to diminish in intensity, but still be likely breezy as we go towards daybreak. So that's the most likely track, locally heavy rain, hail, uh, some very gusty, damaging straight line wind potential. If you're north of, say, Highway 200, your risk of strong to severe storms is very low compared to those of us down in the Southern Valley. That's a quick look at your forecast and a reminder to you that you can get all the weather information that you need tonight or any other time on hutchesweather.com. And please use this resource tonight. I'll be dealing with a personal family matters, uh, health matters over the next few days. So I may or may not be on as normal as you're used to seeing Hutch. So thanks for your thoughts. Thanks for your prayers. And thanks for staying informed here on hutchesweather.com. Make sure that you type in your location on the gearbox that you see right up at the top here. And it will let you know. Hutchesweather.com lets you know if the storms moving in your area are warned for or not. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay informed tonight. More severe weather potential as we go later in the week, Thursday and Friday here in the Valley. I'll keep you posted. You're watching Hutch's Weather.